grab your big book, your pen, your highlighter, and notepad and get ready to hear and apply some of the solution from the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous through the experience, strength, and hope of Nikki M. To have a question addressed in a future episode of Noodle It Out with Nikki, please send an email to noodlewithnikki at gmail.com and Nikki is spelled with two Ks. To get a more interactive experience with Nikki as she noodles out life and recovery questions using the Big Book of Alcoholics Anonymous, you can get a link to her weekly Noodle It Out with Nikki meeting held live on Zoom every Monday morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The information to that meeting is in the show notes of this podcast. God morning, God afternoon, and God evening to all. My name is Justin B., and I am the son of an all-powerful and all-loving God and a qualifying addict of multiple fellowships, living in the miracle of recovery, and I'm here with the intelligent agent, spearhead of God's ever-advancing creation, and my co-host, Nikki M. Nikki, talk to me a little bit. How's How are you doing today? Well, I mean, I woke up. I always ask people, Justin, what's your first thought when you wake up? Now, um, mine is thank you, God, literally. And it, I didn't go to bed like that last night sometimes. And, you know, it, I just, I get into gratitude. I'm also one of these people that they talk about, where's my book, on page 19. I'll never forget because my first sponsor, he, he does this too. It says a few of us are fortunate enough to be so situated that they can give nearly all their time to the work. My line now says me doing God's work full time. I'm a full time sponsor. I lost my unionized big six-figure job during COVID. And then God gave me the fattest paycheck, freedom, peace of mind, and the ability to serve his people. Miracles. 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 All right, Nikki, good. Let's jump into uh, the introduction here, and then we'll jump into some noodling with some questions that I've got here. I'm so grateful to be the steward of the RICO 12 family of re- recovery resources. What a blessing this is. We've got some amazing things going on. Projects, you know, the, the RICO 12 weekly speaker meeting that happens every Friday and, and gets out there in the podcast world every Friday is, is a huge blessing in my life. The RICO 12 Shares podcast is a great place for people to listen to other people's shares, experience, strength, and hope, and even go record their own experience, strength, and hope. We've recently started this, the Noodle It Out with Nikki podcast, and this is amazing. I'm, I'm loving the energy. Energy that comes from it and the big book uh, roundtable podcast. Go look for all of these on all the podcast platforms you've got. Go check them out at rico12.com and jump in there and help support these things. If they aren't free to do, um, God has taken care of it. If you feel the tug to support that, go ahead and check out rico12.com forward slash support and jump in and throw, throw a dollar or two this way because it really does help us uh, continue working our 12th step. Like I said, this project called Noodle It Out with Nikki M is an exercise and deep dive into finding solutions to questions, issues, and things we encounter in everyday life in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I'll bring a question or two to Nikki and she'll deep dive it and, and dig it out there. Um, so everybody get your big book out and get ready to run around it and make some notes and, and then give it back to others as you learn. All right, Nikki, uh, grateful to have you here this morning. Let's jump into... Um, uh, an issue or a, a situation that I often run into in my own life. I often run into when I'm working with sponsees who are starting to go about making their amends or when other people come to them, making amends to them. Um, and I think it ties into the last episode. We did a little bit about expectations. You know, when I go and make an amends, I have the expectation. The other person's going to say, Oh, it's all good. We're good. Um, what happens when an amends goes wrong, whether I'm making an amends and it turns out that I cause more damage than good or, uh, cause some harm there. Tell me a little bit about what the big book says in those types of situations. Well, I want to remind everybody that it doesn't say after you finish step nine. I mean, it says we we clean up the past and it says very clearly on page, and we're kind of in this area of page six, 76 to 78, right? Where it says, um, you know, we the question of how to approach the person we hated will arise. It may be they have done us more harm but we have a better attitude. See, we've entered the spirit world. But the exact instruction on what you're asking about, it says, except when to do so would injure them or others. And I know many sponsors who say, I'm not going to take you to step 10, 11, and 12 unless you make some amends. I want to see your willingness. That's not what the book says. The book says on step 10, 
we vigorously on page 84, page 84, step 10 says, we vigorously commence this way of living. What's this way of living? All the instructions on step one through nine as I circle as on that page, not when, not once, as we cleaned up the past. See, I'm, I, I've had a sponsor who has sent me out to make an amends so I could go on to step 10. The amends went real AWOL. I wasn't, uh, here, here it is. I had just entered the spirit world. It says, we have entered the world of the spirit. I just entered it. I've just got these instructions. I've just entered it. It says my next function is to grow, not to run out and make an amends. It says to grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. So I've had a sponsor. I've taken him through this way. He knew this line because I really, I, I don't, it says we write a letter if they cannot be seen, but everybody seems to seem to write a letter and sit down in a coffee shop and say, I liquid shit it all over you and blah, blah, blah with a, with a preamble that their sponsors given them. No sincerity, no sincerity at all. So it says here, my, it says a spiritual life. We're on page 83. The spiritual life is not a theory. Live it. Our behavior will convince them more than our words. So the sponsor I took through the method I do through this workbook, he went through a guy line by line. It took him a year to go through it. And he had to write down his sponsor, had him write 500 names. This is a method they use, I think in Texas, and that's fine. I made the list. I was number one. Of, I made the list. I, I went up in a CA meeting, approached you and said, let's do this. You were dying. We went through the steps. You started sponsoring. You got others through the steps. And then you wanted a new method. I'm not offended by that. But how did I make your list? You had to reach out for 500 names. That's what the sponsor's telling him. Are you with me? This is kind of a story, experience, strength and hope. Anyway, he came to me one day and he goes, Nikki, I want to make an amends. And I said, no, you will not. I don't want to hear it because it says your behavior will convince me more than your words. What, what did you do to me? Because I also had a guy come to me one time. His sponsor said this, you need, you need to go make an amends to Nikki, whatever he was doing. And he said, Nikki, I was talking about you in the rooms and I'm sorry. Wait, what? It says you need to be sensible, tactful, considerate, and humble. It doesn't say that you need to barf your words and what you did. His approach to me would have been, Nikki, I haven't been a good friend. Because right here it says, we go to them in a helpful and forgiving spirit, confessing our former ill feelings, not our former ill actions. Why is everyone spewing their actions on me? It says your former ill feelings. And expressing our regret. That's on page 77. You know, under no condition do you criticize or argue. Well, now he's come to me and gotten honest. And that's what his sponsors told him to do. But that's going to injure me. Because now I'm worried about him gossip, gossiping about me. Now I'm worried about that room I'm embarrassed to go in. Now I've got a resentment that my good friend is talking about me. It, much, it would have been better for him to follow the exact instruction, which on page, let me find the exact page. It's 79 or 78. It says innumerable forms. I can't find it in here real quick. It will say, I, I'll just read it to you. It's on page seven. Maybe it's on page 79. I, I just, I can't, my eyes can't see it. It says right here, I can read it to you. It says, although these reparations, amends take innumerable forms. That's too many ways to count. Why is everyone coming up to me, spewing their shit on me and thinking that's okay? I should not. If, if you ask me, Justin, I should have never made it onto that guy's resentment list. But his sponsor, instead of making him see the repeat pattern of his behavior, of his moral defects, he got him to write down his third grade teacher. Like you understand, it says dark crannies of the past. How am I a dark cranny? How did you harm me? Did you talk about me? Did you gossip? Your behavior will convince me more than your words, sir. Because you sitting down in front of me and he had a script. Now, if you saw my face, I'm making a, a look of disgust to Justin. He had a script on a three by five that his sponsor in Texas told him to read to me. And I was like, no, you're not, cowboy. 
first of all, we're from Toronto. <laughs> next, next, we don't do that here. And I, and I showed you the method that was taught to me. Now it's fine. You have another method, but Hey, here it is. Know your audience. He didn't know you, you know, that I, I specifically said, cause it says, what should I have done instead when we're looking at our fourth step, right? You should have been more loving, kind. How about more yeah. quiet with your words? So some of these amends can go real AWOL because again, people are reading one line. We read a letter. We go out immediately. Well, we just entered the spirit world and I'm not willing. And so actually on page 76 is the willingness prayer. It says, if I will not let go of something, I ask God to help me be willing. I don't listen to my sponsor say, I'm not moving you to step 10 until you run out and make that amends. You're killing people. Because guess what? Had my sponsor, and this is why I respect my first sponsor, he took me all the way through the steps. If he told me to go to baby daddy number two, write a letter how I took him hostage, made a baby with him when I was in a blackout codependency love addiction. You understand where I go here, expressing all my ill thoughts. It doesn't say that. My, my, it says my ill feelings. I feel I didn't, I wasn't a good friend, let alone a mo baby mom to you. That's all. Words are, words, it says, our behavior will convince them more. So what happened? I never ran out to baby daddy number two. I just started changing my behavior, stopped sending massive texts at 2 a.m. telling him he's destroying my son's life. All that behavior stopped. That's a big amends. And then the biggest amends was in year five when my son turned 17. Daddy had no money. I bought a car. All he had to do was get insurance. That's all he had. That's a huge amends. Here's a car that my neighbor's, you know, grandma died and it has no mileage on it. Take it. All you have to do is get insurance. That's a, that's a behavior will convince them more than my words. You understand where I'm going here, Justin? Innumerable forms. Why are you sitting down in front of me reading a letter or worse, a three by five scripted card letting me know you were mad at me? I, I don't, I think it's better when I said my friend came and said, he's gossiping about me. Wouldn't it have been better for this person to go, Nikki, because it says our moral defects. It says our ill feelings. Nikki, my ill feelings is that I didn't show up as a proper friend to you. Wait, what are you talking about, brother? You're one of my good friends in program. I don't need to know the details that you were gossiping about me or that you slept with my sister. I don't need to know. That's going to injure me, except when to do so would injure them or others. Words matter, everybody. Our mm -hmm. changed behavior. Yeah. So, so when the horse is already out of the barn and that ah. amends has been made and the, the harm has been done, how do I, the receiver of those amends, then uh, who, who initially is harmed, who initially has the reaction of, no, uh, now I have resentment here. How do I then, without causing further back and forth resentment and harm back and forth, how do I absorb that and move forward? Well, this is what I did. Page 66, this is our course. That's your course, Justin. You and I picked a lane, the big book lane. This is our course. We don't get to do what other people get to do, Justin B. We don't get to sit in our anger. And oh, if you read further up on page 66, it says the grouch and the brainstorm are not for us. If we are to live, we had to be free of anger. The grouch and the brainstorm are not for Justin B and Nikki M. It's a dubious luxury for normal people. But if you listen to our last podcast, Justin and I were more than happy to say we're weirdos. We suffer the disease of alcoholism. So, But for people who suffer the disease of addiction, these things are not for us. Oh, there go the dogs, of course. So this is my course. I realize that the people who wrong me are spiritually sick. Maybe that person didn't read the instructions properly. Maybe that person's sponsor didn't read the book. Maybe they have an indifferent interpretation of what the book says, and I must accept that too. Maybe that's the method they were taught. Because here it says right here, the people who wrong me are spiritually sick. Yes. And though I don't like their symptoms or the way they make an amends to me, the way they disturb me, like myself, they're sick too. So I have to ask God to help me show them the same tolerance, pity, and patience. Key word, cheerfully. Thank you, God. My friend's sick just like me. So when my friend comes up to me and makes a weird ass amends that I that instantly throws me into like arrogance, I know better. Didn't you read the book? You can't do that. 
I got to get real humble because it says right here, God save me from being angry. This is a sick man. How can I be helpful to him? God save me from being angry. Thy will not mine be done. That is your resentment prayer. That's your anger blame prayer. See, because I've got to avoid retaliation or argument. See, I won't treat sick people that way. And you know where I go on that. Are you going to yell at someone with no legs? Am I going to yell at someone dying of some um, disease, cancer, someone with mental illness? No, but I'll stand over an alcoholic. I'll stand over a food addict. I will look with disgust and hate and rage because I, I don't want to destroy my chances of being helpful. See, I need to read this today because I don't do this every day. This is why we do this every day, babies, because I need to be reminded I cannot be helpful to all people, but at least God will show me how to take a kindly and tolerant view of each and every one. You know, this is radical stuff. I, I needed to read this because I get nuts and I get so angry when people don't do what I want them to do. I'm a control freak and I'm home with you people reading the instructions of how not to retaliate, how not to argue because I don't want to hurt any more people. I just want to be helpful. I need this, Justin. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And where we're, I was led as you were sharing that and as we were going through this process was to page 87, the top of page 87. And this is a step 11 concept here. But, you know, you talked about how some sometimes we say, hey, sometimes we as sponsors may say, hey, before we I move you to step 10, 11, 12, you got to do some amends. Well, I'm I'm 10 years in the rooms. You're what, 14 years in the rooms? Is that 11, 11, 11. years in the rooms? Um, and I still feel this way at the top of 87, being still inexperienced and having just made conscious contact with God, it is not probable that we are going to be inspired at all times. We might pay for this presumption in all sorts of absurd actions and ideas. Um, and making a, a brutal amends or receiving an amends in a brutal fashion is an absurd action or idea if I'm not uh, grounded with God, if I that conscious contact is 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 imperfect and i'm still in spiritual kindergarten and i think i'll i don't know that i'll ever move past spiritual third or fourth grade in this life you know and i'll still be new at, at and inexperienced with that so any development or or diving on that concept you want to go into nikki amen it says on the top of page 87 i wrote this at the very top practice and patience like i need practice and patience because prior to what you just read about being still an experience, the promise is here. This is the step 11 second nature promise. What used to be the hunch or the occasional inspiration gradually becomes a working part of my, of my mind. So the other night when I had a family party, my auntie was here and she's visiting and uh, you know, I, I'm political. I, I am. And so I said something. It was just in a, in a comedy way. Nikki thinks she's being a comedian. But again, Nikki, you are not Carol Burnett. You're Nikki M. So I'm here making jokes. And she got real offended. She's very sensitive. I have to understand that she is not even in a book, let alone a program. And so instantly, what did I do when she, she instantly left? She was, I mean, it really kind of put everyone's feathers in a ruffle because she, re, she reacted. And, um, when she later, when I went to bed, I just said, I love you. And I will be more mindful with my words, cousin. And I said, I will talk to you when I get back from Europe. See, there's a pause there. She can pause. I know she's not well. I know she's in some, in some life situations. I love her full stop. And, um, I will be more mindful next time. What's my big amends. I'm so No. I just know that next time I don't ever mention anything political around her. And I took it even further. Next time at any party, I don't mention any politics, any family party. I just, that's, I can't do that. And even, and a lot of my cousins, we were having a good time with it, the other, but this one wasn't. So we don't do that. And the other thing I took even further is that I entered the spirit world, Justin. Most people haven't. 
I abandon myself to God. So remember what it says, because you read part, you read the middle part. So I'll end it here where it says, nevertheless, Nikki finds that my thinking, this is all about your thinking. It centers in your mind. Never forget page 23, where it centers in our mind. My thinking will as time passes. Oh, time passes, not an overnight matter. This should continue for our lifetime. I will be more and more on the plane of inspiration. See, I'm getting better at making amends. I'm getting better at suggesting it. I'm not forcing ever my sponsees to make an amends because that's my experience. I will never ask someone to write a letter if they can be seen. That's my experience. That's what the book says. And I really sit on the amends, you guys, innumerable forms. Don't forget, there are a few rules here. Sorry, instructions. And I'll and, and then you can shut me up here. It says step nine instructions. This is on page 80. Before taking a drastic action, line out, making an amends, which might implicate other people. That could be me, that could be them, anything. I have to secure consent. That's why the guy who asked me, I knew what was coming for me. Nikki, can I make an amends? That's a big hell no. Because you and I have done the work together. So no. So he didn't get my permission. It says, if we have obtained permission, number one, did you get a yes from the people? Two, have you consulted with others? Others is your properly appointed authority. Why are you coming to me? You robbed a bank. I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. Why are you coming to me and asking me things when I'm not a medical doctor? I'm not even, I'm not even a therapist. I am a spiritual advisor, what I like to call now soul surgeon. So I've gone a yes. I've gone number two to the probably appointed. And then I ask God, most people skip that step when they make the amends. It says right here, you ask God to help. But most people just ask their sponsor what the F to do and run out and make a drastic step. Oh, I'm getting all fired up. I'm getting, calm down, Nikki. Your behavior will convince them more than you're screaming into the podcast. I love you. (laughs) Oh, this is so cool to do this real time. I love this. And, you know, there's so much, um, so much that I learn from this, you know, I, I often come into this thinking, oh, I'm, I'm the host of this thing. I'm the steward of Rico 12. I know what I've got my crap together. I know what I'm doing. I, I, I'm in spiritual kindergarten guys. If you're looking to me or to Nikki or to any other human for the, uh, for the answer, hopefully we're pointing you to God, to the book rather than saying, Hey, do what I do. No, here's my experience. Ask God what you should do. Ask God. We asked God to help, and the drastic step is indicated. We must not shrink. Guys, good stuff. Um, Nikki, thank you so much. Any last words before we close this up? That last one, we must not shrink. That's it. We just must not. This is, we're soldiers. And 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 if you, if you want to dive deep with me, it is. It's, you know, it says don't indulge in the cynicism over the state of the nations. I'm not supposed to look outside, but it is a hard time for our fellows. We're in a world inundated with addiction. Don't shrink. We've entered a spirit world, innumerable forms. And I'm just looking at you. My final thought as I look at you, brother, is I'm just grateful because you smile at me when I'm going AWOL and getting digressing and getting off track. and, And it's nice to be accepted. And to find home here with you guys and with our magic book. I'm just excited about our next episode. Thanks, Justin. Love it. Thank you, Nikki. Everybody, come come trudge. And what I mean by trudge, I mean march. Let's move forward with purpose, this happy road of destiny together, because we can't shrink. The, the task ahead is great, but God is on our side. And as God is on our side, we can do all things. And... Uh, Keep coming back, guys. It works when I work it. Work it. You are worth it. 